So if a, a man has no nutrient light, he's not alive, he's dead. Mm -hmm. yeah. but, 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 but of course, but, in, in him was the lower level, the plants were the lowest, and then the life of the, the mind was the higher. In, in a way, right now it's reversing, <laughs> I don't know. But by the same token, while man without the vegetative state is not alive, man without noose is not man. Right, right, but we are now concerned what we life, live. What is a man as far as a living being? Right, right, we are right. Then uh, we can go back to this. Then after, if you have to decide what a man is, of course, the moose is more important to define it. Because the other was the plant. Uh, but without, but the one is separable. The, 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 the trend, the, the the nutrient life is separable. The other is not. So you see the strategy of separating it. Of course, for him, it was the lowest. Then, for perhaps for other, it's not the lowest. It's the lowest part. But this now of the biometric. Uh, this great change is happening under our eyes that we do not realize the changing of the concept and the model of identity. So we lived for centuries on the concept of personal identity. So the identity is something that concerns the person. Person comes from the Latin persona, which means mask. The mask is all the social function. In the Roman families, each gens is noble family, had a mask of the grandfather, so we call them tenati. This mask was kept in the atrium of the house, and this then became the foundation of the identity, the personal identity. But this identity was personal, and with times, person became a Synonym of uh, social activity, social function, what is recognized by the others. So the so the identity of the individual dependent from this uh, social recognition of the person, of what it is, uh, or is uh, also body, but uh, but the whole. You know? And now we are uh, witnessing a great, incredible change in which the identity will. Uh, be determined by something that you never can identify with as a person. No, I, uh, I can identify myself uh, as a, a poet, a philosopher, a citizen, whatever. But how can I define myself only referring to a, a biometric uh, data? Um, what I'm wondering this sort of phenomenon or example for what you're talking about. You were talking about, for instance, ID being in fingerprints, right? Can you, like, can you speak sure. a little bit louder? I feel like um, at the same time that, that you're seeing this sort of like emphasis on nutritive life as being part of our identity, at the same time, other parts of our lives are equally like carried, um, like potentially you, you, you're talking about, okay, like our fingerprints, our identity, but then there's a potential that our whole history of like me as a social person is included with so, so I'm wondering, like, what, um, basically, in, in sort of like, like real world phenomenon, it, is the evidence of like this extra emphasis <coughs> on nutritive life, like, in in sort of current and future times, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't know if I understand, but so that uh, in, a few, in, uh, in the present and future we have uh, becoming even more important of uh, the nutritive life model. Right, and is that? Well, I'm saying what, what, why, like how, how can you demonstrate or describe that um, in a way that makes it more important than the other types of life that, that you're talking about? Like for, for instance, the, the example I made, that identity will now be determined only on this kind of data. You can print it down. No more from uh, social I, I mean, I guess I question if that's really true because I mean are you talking about just for like the state or something because for instance at the same time you know your identity will include like the history of things you've done 
things you've said, where you've gone to school, or if you want to know about someone um, and you want to look them up, as opposed to, for instance, getting their genome as, as another person, you're more likely to see everything they've done on an online social network or this sort of thing. So, I don't no, for instance, if we take the, this, uh, the European ID, uh, you have the printer, you have the genome the data, you have the medical data, and these are the important. Uh, probably in the European, there is nothing at all of this uh, thing you refer. I don't know if you refer to the American model, but clearly the, the, the important one are the, this one, as, as long as far as your identification. The other are information. Then it could, this, this thing will contain also information about your studies. But these are information. But then you're introducing an institution that applies this identification. But I mean, this doesn't stop me from identifying with me being an artist. It's not so easy. It's not so easy. <laughs> because when, uh, when you have a model so strongly dependent from uh, a biometric identity, uh, yeah, but, uh, then what does it mean? Now I am an artist. And then this process will also invest uh, the art, because as you know, uh, in the modern uh, contemporary art performance, the biological element becomes more and more important, and so there is no more difference between the, the, the artistic process, the creative process, and the biological uh, uh, reality of the artist. So, I mean, uh, you're right, of course, this is not uh, eliminated. I'm not, I'm not saying. But it's straight, but it, 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 for me it's a great change because uh, it's, I'm not defending the personal identity. The personal identity had a, a, a lot of other unpleasant things, also ridiculous. That's why, for instance, a, a serious man never completely identified himself with his uh, social person. So if a man completely identifies himself with his being a, a lawyer, or a poet, this is an idiot. <laughs> so there is always a certain dialectical. But how can you act the same dialectic in respect with digital prints? Well, there's a big difference. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's much more it's difficult. How can I take, not, not only not identify, but take a certain dialectical distance? Probably, I'm not saying that it could not be done. Probably men will find a way to react to this and be able to also take uh, this distance uh, from its, uh, this biometric identity. But there is a strong pressure to make this uh, ethically not relevant. Yes? Yes. Uh, so if identity is from uh, some medical scientific... Can you speak louder? Yes. If, if identity is a, a question of the doctors, it's a scientific question, a biometric question, I understand why you, you said that the doctors are the new politicians, uh, why the doctor is the new sovereign, and why national socialism was the, or is the paradigm of modernity, because uh, the politics in the modernity is the decision about uh, life, the decision between who is Bios, who is Zoe, Chidigle, someone that anyone can kill. Uh, my question is, uh, how can you imagine uh, the new politics uh, of life? You know, we have many examples that are very radical. For instance, the hungry strike, or the, the hungry strike, or the suicide bombing. Uh, but for instance, in the, the way you can use drugs, or even medical prothesis, or medical elements in order to, to make new politics. So my question is, how, how could be the politics, uh, the politics in the geopolitical time where doctors are the new politicians, the new sovereign? I understand absolutely. Uh, uh, you will uh, agree that it's not easy to uh, point, uh, receipt, a solution. No? So this is a very complex question. But it is exactly in this uh, way that we have to posit the question, no? to understand the question. So we don't have, I'm not uh, advocating, oh, that's biometric, so it's not a thing. We go back to the personal identity. This can't work. So, so uh, each time that we had to uh, face,